Everyone loves a carbonara and we've put a bit of a twist on it and we're gonna be doing it with some chorizo instead of bacon and topping it with a poached egg instead of cooking it through with an egg. The good dried chorizo, we're gonna be relying on that for all of our flavor. So you might as well put in the effort and get some good ones. And we're just gonna go into kind of rough chunks and then just chop them up into kind of one or two centimeter sized pieces. And I'm gonna go into a cold pan. And the reason we're going into a cold pan is we're gonna render the fat out of the chorizo. So I've got a heap of flavor in them already. So we're gonna kind of take advantage of all those flavors and draw them out. But I'm just gonna kickstart them with a tablespoon of olive oil and that's just gonna help them render their fat. And just over medium heat and what it's gonna do is gonna draw out all that fat out of the chorizo and then we're gonna be able to cook our sauce in it. So I've just got some rosemary. So I just take about half of a sprig like this and just pull the leaves in the opposite direction. And then also just one clove of garlic. Just give it a bash. And then just chop it up with that rosemary. And we're gonna wait until the chorizo's all really crisp. So I'm kinda gonna give it a few more minutes now. So chorizo's beautifully crisp. The oil's been drawn out. Um, I'm gonna go in with my pasta. I've got 200 grams for two people. And while that cooks, we're gonna continue rendering this down. So I'm happy with the chorizo. So we'll go in with our garlic and rosemary. And you definitely don't wanna burn that garlic. So. 30 seconds, and now at the same time, pasta is al dente. We're gonna go straight from the saucepan, and that way we're gonna drag some of the water with it, and that's gonna help us create a bit of a sauce. So, get some big chunks, go straight into this pan. Get about a third of a cup of that cooking water, which is really nice and starchy, and just add that as well. And now give everything a stir up. I'm just gonna turn off the heat now for this pan. To that water, I'm gonna turn it down so it's just simmering, and I'm gonna add two teaspoons of white vinegar. And the vinegar is just gonna help the eggs stay together when they're poaching. So we just crack those eggs. I'm gonna crack them into a bowl, not straight into the saucepan, because that kind of gives me some control when we're trying to poach. And you don't wanna create an entire whirlwind. Whenever people poach eggs, they kind of create this ridiculous centrifugal force. So I'm just gonna create some movement but not too much. And then just gently lower the egg into the center using that bowl, and that's gonna help the eggs stay together. And I wanna poach those for about two minutes because I want them to be quite soft so they kind of ooze and break over the pasta. Okay, so while those eggs are poaching, I'm just gonna finish off the sauce. I've got a bit of parmesan. I'm gonna go straight into the pan here. And this parmesan is gonna mix with all that great chorizo oil and make a really nice creamy sauce. I could be here forever, don't be shy with parmesan. Pepper, chorizo, oil, garlic, rosemary. This is real magic in here. If you feel it's a bit too dry, grab some more of that water out of your pan and it'll help it soften and kind of break down a bit of that parmesan as well. Just grab a bowl and we'll go straight from the pan and just get some of that pasta. And then grab some of those crispy chorizo pieces, get them on top. And then just a bit of parsley, just rip that off fresh. Give it a rough chop, just on top there as well. And retrieve one of your eggs, and then go straight on top. Okay, and we're gonna hit it with a bit more pepper, and of course, a bit more parmesan. And the test of a perfectly poached egg, see that it does the magic and creates a sauce. So there it is, it's not a traditional carbonara at all but it's just as quick and it packs a real great punch with all that chorizo and the oil and the great flavors. I think that is pretty impressive for a quick dinner.